Welcome to iThrive Ideas. Today we're going to talk about corporate long-term incentive plans for employees. This time of year, many of our clients who work for public companies have their stock awards vesting. These type of awards are issued in advance and they incentivize employees to stay with the company and contribute to the success. The two types of awards we will be talking about are restricted stock units and employee stock options. Restricted stock units, or often referred to as RSUs, are issued to an employee in the form of company stock that follows a vesting schedule. These are usually issued to employees based on achieving performance milestones, but in some cases, a set dollar amount in the form of shares. With RSUs, there's no tangible value until vesting is complete. We typically see the vesting schedule at three years, but are starting to see more companies go to a shorter tiered schedule where employees can access their awards sooner. Once your RSUs vest, the value is considered income and a partial amount of the shares are withheld to pay income tax. Once the tax is paid, you are left with the shares and can either hold on to the shares, sell and diversify, or sell and disperse the cash proceeds. Depending on whether this form of compensation is needed for upcoming expenses, it's important to have a concrete plan on whether to hold the shares, sell and diversify, or disperse. Depending on when the shares are sold, you can either be subject to either short-term or long-term capital gains tax. The other form of long-term incentives is employee stock options. They are granted to an employee which offers the right to buy a certain amount of company shares at a predetermined price for a specific period. They follow similar vesting schedules like the RSUs where you cannot exercise your option until a certain date. The most common form of employee stock options is non-qualified stock options. Here's an example of how a non-qualified stock option works. An employee is granted the option to purchase 1,000 shares at $100 per share once the option vests in three years. Suppose on vesting day, the stock is trading at $250 per share. If the employee exercised the option, the value of the option is the current price minus the grant price multiplied by the number of options. In this case, the value or spread would be $150 per share or $150,000. This amount then would be subject to taxes and the employee would be left with the net amount in either shares or cash. Unlike RSUs, stock options only get picked up as income when you exercise. Even though your option might be vested, you may choose not to exercise immediately. The expiration dates of options are typically 10 years from the grant date. Same goes for the RSUs that it's important to have a plan on how to handle these options and make sure that the execution is aligned with your overall financial plan. For more information or questions on long-term incentive awards, please feel free to reach out to us directly. Thank you and have a great day.